Hey, so let's have some fun. Let's go to the Washington Post for some hardcore news. And bear in mind, this article really is at the Washington Post and really is not supposed to be satire. It's real. I've pre-highlighted some parts of the article because I don't like to waste anyone's time. But let's go take a look at this, okay, because it's, it's awesome. Um, Shark Week lacks diversity, overrepresents men named Mike, scientists say. Again, serious title. Subtitle goes, researchers say Discovery's programming overwhelmingly featured white men as experts while emphasizing negative messages about sharks. Now let's just take a moment here. Okay. Why might they be emphasizing negative messages about sharks? I mean, I I'm just going to go out on a limb for a second and say maybe it's because sharks tend to bite humans. Maybe it's not that they're just like kind of mean to sharks, that they just kind of have it in for them. But you know when you're at a beach and they have a sign out that says that there's a shark that, you know, is in the area so don't get in the water? It's not because there's some discriminatory force against sharks. It's because sharks actually do bite. This just seems like an analogy, but anyway, th that's what it's about. It's not about let's just be mean at sharks. That that's not the thing. And the whole Shark Week featured white men, I mean, why, why is that bad exactly? I mean, if the white men happen to be the experts, then they're the experts. At least this is how my mind works, but apparently not the Washington Post. So let's keep going. Starts out with a human interest angle here. Lisa Whitenack loved sharks as a kid. She spent rainy days leafing through a guide to sharks in Reader's Digest. But when the scientists appeared on her TV screen, she rarely saw any women she could look up to. Because most um, of these shark experts happen to be men. It, it's kind of, it's just one of those fields. Sorry, it just is the way that it is. If I happen to be really interested in watching some construction show, I'm probably going to see mostly men there too. It doesn't mean that they were discriminating against the women who work in a construction you know, field. <laughs> That's just not how it generally works. But anyway, let's continue. In a study published last month, yes, there was a study, by the Public Library of Science, their research claims that Discovery's programming emphasized negative messages about sharks, lacked useful messaging about shark conservation, and overwhelmingly featured white men as experts, including several with the same name. <laughs> Mike. Mike. This is the name that apparently lots of the experts had, and we're supposed to read something into this, that the experts were chosen on the basis of the name Mike. I mean, how did the study authors think that it worked over there at the Discovery Channel? Like, like they, were, they were seeking out experts and they have like this, this stack of paper of, of different experts that we might choose and they're, they're scrolling through and they're going, no, no, can't have a Bob. Let me scroll through some more. There's a Ryan. Ryan, I don't know, is he white? Is he black? It's, it's rough. There's a Mike. I'm going to go, I'm going to go with Mike. Is, is that how it would, and how did the, how did the few women get in there? That's what I'm kind of wondering. The women who were chosen as experts, maybe they were called Michelle. You know, and down on paper, they were like, it's another Michael, it's a Michael. And they went, um, <laughs> is this how Washington Post journalists and scientists, just the science, from the Public Library of Science really think it happened? Because if so, there is something seriously wrong with them. I mean, because this is, yeah. Okay, so... We're going for men named Mike at the Discovery Channel. Seriously, this is this is the actual article. Over 90% of the 229 experts featured in 201 Shark Week episodes were white, the study found. And about 78% were men. Now this is this is Okay. So the people who were doing this study, probably paid by your tax dollars, um, they were there and they were counting. They were watching, how many was it? 201 Shark Week episodes. And they're going, that one's white, 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 male, white, black, being paid <laughs> to, to, to do this. You know, you can almost see the, the fermenting outrage taking place. And, 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 it, and it continues. It just doesn't end.
Shark Week further concentrates power in the form of publicity and media attention in the hands of white male featured scientists, exacerbating academic power imbalances. Okay. So, in other words, white people should not be seen. I mean, that would appear to be uh, what, what we're supposed to read into this. White people should not be seen because if they're seen, then they get more power. That kind of... Imagine if this show was, you know, 78% black. Would, would they be writing articles about how that was a problem? Somehow I doubt it. Or if it was a majority women show. There are, you know, majority women shows. There are plenty of majority black shows. Um, is, that, is that exactly a problem? Would they be writing articles about how we need to keep those black people off screen because we've given them too much power? Can you imagine the outrage if they did? Exactly. But here, these people, these experts, there has been no claim yet that they are not experts in their field, that they don't know what they're doing. That has never once been claimed. The only problem is that they are white and that they are male, and therefore they should be given an inferior status, an inferior um, choice, right? They, sh they shouldn't be chosen the same way that a person of a different race or a different gender would be chosen. It's, it's absolutely, it's evil. I mean, when you really think about it, because you've got an individual who's there and he's reached a certain degree of uh, accreditation and he, he knows his stuff, you might say, and he's worked hard for it. He's better than other people in the field. And for that reason, he has, he has chosen and perhaps he's particularly articulate on screen. And despite reaching that particular point in his career, these people expect the, those hiring to say, nope, not you because you're white because you were, you were born white. I mean, that, that's really, it's seriously evil. All right, let's keep on going. Diversity in people brings diversity in thought, which ultimately brings innovation. Being able to see someone who looks like you in this field really has an impact. Well, you're welcome to go into whatever field you want, but diversity in people does not have to be diversity in race. There are plenty of rich and poor white people who can both rise up the the ladder. There are rich and poor black people. I mean, this can be said for, for every racial group. They all have different life experiences that come together and they were raised differently. Some were raised in really leftist households. Some were raised in really atheist house households. Some in different religious households. They result in very different experiences, very different people. You could have a diverse bunch of people who are all white. But for them, diversity doesn't mean diversity. For them, diversity means non-white. And this is the way we have seen the trend developing for some time now. But they, the thing that bothers me most about articles like this is the attempt to moralize what is actually evil. Because that's what they're doing. They're, they're trying to stand on some sort of podium of piety as if they're doing something that is altruistic and right by seeking to exclude people who have earned a position of stature. And I think that's wrong. And going forward, we need more people who are willing to talk about it. But, you know, we live in this society now where you say the word white and everyone tenses up because it's this word that you can't say. Well, we need to be willing to say it. Otherwise, this kind of thing will get even worse. You made it to the end. You either really liked or really hated that video. Let's assume you liked it. There are a lots more that you can choose from. And also you can follow me on Gab and various other social media sites. And if you are able to support the channel, that's an option for you too. There are links in the description below. Thank you so much.